Yeah. Heck, man. Burger pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, all you fellow junkers, junkies, thrifties, scavengers, <laughs> trash pickers, resellers. <laughs> so. Last time that we were out, or Kevin did that um, that video metal detecting, and we talked about we had a pin pointer on the way. Just got just got the pin pointer, and it is a uh, just called a GP pointer, GP dash pointer, and you got to push it forward or just push it. Oh, okay, it just goes on. Let's see it. It's not a very loud one, but man, it seems to be, uh, oh, you know, definitely, uh, what does that say, point, or what is that? G point. Oh, G point. G point, GP pointer, spy metal detectors. It's a knockoff of the Garrett Pro. Is that, is that what the Garrett Pro looks like? Yeah. Okay, so basically it's a knockoff of the Garrett Pro, and... You know, I can shoot, you know, I can't really, I don't know, throw a coin down or something. There you go. So let's see. Let's go like this. Oh, dude, I can't take that. I'd be looking all over for it. Yeah, so we'll show you. You don't have to keep, you just turn Well, I turned it all back off. Well, the light was still on. You can hear that? That is not very loud. And it makes different noises when you get right on it. So it's not a... Oh, get it just the truck. Not the loudest. And right now we're actually out next to a highway. Oh yeah, and you gotta get a little... Oh, you get a little scabbard thing for it. And a little build to hook it to yourself. <clears throat> yeah, nice little. Man, what did we pay for this? 18 bucks? Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to order another one. We wanted to get one, see it, check it out. Kevin did a little bit of uh, uh, Google on it. And they said, what did they say about them? That they, they some. Start to malfunction after about a month of using it. Oh, really? Yeah. So I guess we'll see, man, in a month. So they say that. Uh, Maybe I'll give it a month before. We, maybe we'll wait for a month. Is that what they said? They start malfunctioning? Yeah. So Google saying they start malfunctioning about a month after about a month. So I was going to go home and order another one tonight. But I think we'll wait a month to see if it starts malfunctioning. But 18 bucks, man, for a pinpointer. And then Kevin, I wanted to show, explain this thing. Show this to you. Because uh, I've had two or three people asking us... Or, yeah, asking us about metal detectors. I'm actually, mine's in the truck. I'm actually using one that was my um, mom's boyfriend's, Grandpa Scott's. And, uh, you know, and it's got the old dial and stuff, man. It works great and everything like that. But this is the one that Kevin D just picked up. And you can show them, kind of show, you know, this is a lot more. Ace 200. Um, it's their beginner. Metal detector, their lower end one. They, I think, are around $170. Brand new. Brand new. Um, I don't know. Can I see that? See the screen on it? Turn it on. And it's all digital where mine just has the needles. Over here, it tells you how deep it goes. Or how, well, yeah, it goes about six inches deep. This metal detector it doesn't go super deep compared to some of them. But it'll tell you if it's two, four, or six inches deep or at least what it thinks it is. And then you can change the mode over here from zero disc discrimination. It's a zero disc. Um, so that would be that would detect everything from iron to gold rings to coins. Uh, then there's jewelry which kind of discriminates the iron out so you're not getting the iron. And then there's just coins so you're not getting uh, as much um, you wouldn't actually get gold rings even, so, right, so you don't really want to run, you don't really want to run it on coins too much. 
You can change the sensitivity. The sensitivity is down here. It's got four settings, low, um, low, medium, and high. But there's two mediums. <laughs> right. Um, and then if you, here, burn a coin under it. See that it rings up as 81. That number is um, got to do with whether it's ferrous or not, and how conductive the metal is. So copper and zinc are pretty conductive, so it rings high. Uh, silver rings really high. Gold rings in the middle, and iron will ring low. That's, that's ringing around the 30. I think. Um, all right, so man. I, this dang battery went dead during that so I hope it caught all of that but that Kevin smoked it on that one because he ended up what did you get that for 60, 65 bucks um, off Craigslist which is a smoking deal that's probably you know I'll probably try to find a wheel and a dumb but we're wanting to get kitty one and wanting to get Shaney one and then we'll figure out about these pinpointers and gonna all do a bunch of metal detecting we stopped by here we've actually been up um, doing a little bit of treasure hunting today up in McCall and stopped down here at a kind of a rest that's actually a snowmobile park area and we're going to do a little metal detector around here just for the heck of it and check out the pin pointer what's the little thing there for? Maybe we'll just loop it through this oh just for an extra safety thing? it's just a other option huh. for the split. cool so like I said, I was going to order another one of those tonight, but now that he's... Oh, and there's something else, man. I want to tell him about White's metal detectors. If you're going to... Because I've... You know, a bunch of y'all been telling us how, uh, you know, oh, man, I want to get back into that and all that. What metal detector should I get? You know, and obviously, you know, you can spend a lot of money on metal detectors with technology. Something that Kevin read that blew my mind because... All my years of metal detecting, Whites has been the, you know, the one. You know, and Garrett, you know, came along, and they're getting better and better. And Kevin read on one of the uh, metal detecting sites that Whites is going to quit. They're closing down shop, man. So I would have to say you don't want to go out and invest in a brand new Whites metal detector. Now, if you can score one on a... Um, you know, if you could still get a deal, white metal detectors are amazing though, man, but there won't, if you, you wouldn't want to buy a brand new because you're not going to have no warranty or anything like that, I would guess. When are they supposed to close shop? I don't know. What? You're supposed to be thinking, look at his man, look at his haircut, man, he's not all fuzzy, he's looking good. <laughs> all right, man. That's crazy, that's a long ways over. Let's see what that is real quick. Oh, damn. Pop soda. That's the third one of those I found here. <laughs> soda tab. That's on jewelry. That's pretty good one. No, that's on coins only. Uh -huh. I don't think I'll be able to pick it up with this. It's saying it's kind of shallow.
Oh, there it is right there. Oh, what the heck is it? <laughs> it's a spinner. Score, dude. Look at that, man. Man, huh? Look at that. You're probably going to have some pretty good fish. Oh, yeah, it's an old flatfish spinner. The hooks have rusted off. It says something on it. It's an old copper one. That was pretty good, dude. Little, little Cleo. Little Cleo is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Score, man. So, uh, I've changed my mind. I'm ordering one of them pinpointers as soon as I get home. And if in 30 days we have issues with them, we'll get a hold of the seller. And that's just something, I mean, you could, I guess it could be just like anything. You can get a bad one with a Garrett, you know what I mean? Sometimes things happen. But, uh, yeah, I'll be ordering one of those, man. I'm pretty impressed with that. You're pretty good. Well, we're getting back on. Now I'm excited. <laughs> Start finding fishing gear, man. I'm in so it. So than that, remember, keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. If you're out there treasure hunting or metal detecting, <laughs> hope you find some color in the bottom of your pan. See ya. See ya. <laughs>